Hello guys, so we are playing Minecraft. One day we the best play with a phone. Oh no, you will not do the head phone. No, Jam never had a head phone. But when one story ends, another one. Would you rather fight a hundred chicken sized zombies or ten zombie sized chickens? Yeah. Just to be clear, you wouldn't have any weapons yeah. or armor. So huh? Huh? What? It's just a dumb question. Forget it. So, I've got a daylight sensor on the roof. Mm -hmm. And if I did this right, these lamps should turn on once it gets dark. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to just leave Ruben here with nothing while we're at the building competition. He's coming with us. Really? <laughs> what kind of question is that? Of course he is. Okay, I'm not saying he shouldn't come. I'm not. <gasps> But don't you think it's a little weird that you take him with you everywhere you go? He kind of makes us look like, I don't know, amateurs. Ruben's my best friend. I thought I was your best friend. Both of you are. I didn't mean anything by it. I'm glad he's coming. I just don't want to give people one more reason to call us losers. I'm getting tired of it. I'm tired of being a laughing stock. We are not losers, Olivia. We lose all the time. It's okay. what we do. Oh, okay, that might be true. I can't remember the last time we won anything. But if that's the case, it means we win at being losers. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Fine. Hey, what? Hear that? Oh, no. Boom! <laughs> Totally freaked out. That was uh... Axel, what's the matter with you? Great. Now I'm gonna smell like a pig in Endercon. Cool mask. It is, isn't it? Yeah, very convincing. <laughs> the look on your faces. Did you bring the fireworks? Of course I did. I even brought something for the little guy. Nice. You brought Reuben a disguise? Um, we're going to a convention. Somebody's got to wear a costume. As long as Reuben is happy, I'm happy. Happy? Well, zippity doo da. Okay, relax. It's fine. You definitely brought the fireworks, right? Yes, I'm ready. Waiting on you guys. If he was really your best friend, you wouldn't let him go outside dressed like that. The only thing more dangerous than putting a costume on a pig is trying to take it off. <laughs> Hurry up and grab your stuff. We'll meet you downstairs, okay? Okay. Shears definitely taking these. Never know when I might need to shear some sheep. Gabriel the Warrior. You think we'll ever get that famous? It's not impossible. Maybe I'll get famous for my sweet poster collection. One of these days, we're gonna win the Endercon building competition. And when we do, people will look at us and say, hey, there goes Jesse and Ruben, winners of the Endercon building competition. You really should change the name. I got this stand as a gift, but don't have any armor to put on it. Maybe 
Sunday. Give me a dragon roar, Reuben. That'll do, Reuben. That'll do. That's everything. Let's roll. Yeah, dude. Roll. Let's go. I heard a pretty juicy rumor about the building competition, but you guys have to promise not to say anything. Okay. Also, it's in two parts, each part more exciting than the last. Spit it out, Axel. Part one, the special guest at this year's Entercon is none other than Gabriel the Warrior him freaking self. Whoa, what's part two? Part two, according to my sources, the winner of the building competition is going to get to meet him. It doesn't mean anything if we lose, but if we win... Oh, man. This would make up for all the losing. I wish they were all going to be there. Does nothing please you? You have to meet all the members of the super secret, super legendary Order of the Stone? I wasn't saying it wasn't cool. I was just saying that would be cool, too. So, does this source of yours make posters for a living? Huh? <laughs> Yeah, my, uh, source, uh, doesn't exist. You guys are my only friends. Guys, let's stay focused. We have a competition to win. We never win. And this year, we've got Ruben with us. Continue. We basically have no chance. We're going to win, because... What are you talking about? Because up to now, we've hated losing. But today, today, my friends, we're gonna start learning how to love winning. That didn't sound as good as it did in my head. No, no, I'm with that. All right. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We're thinking about this all wrong. The point of the building competition isn't just to build something. We have to do something to get noticed by the judges. Okay, then. So how do we do this? We don't just build something functional. We build something fun. After we finish the fireworks machine like we planned, then we build something cool on top of it. We might be onto something. If we want to get a reaction out of the judges, you build something scary. So I say we build a creeper. Wouldn't an Enderman be better? I'm more scared of Endermen than creepers. They both have their moments. They're both pretty scary. Then again, you scared the crap out of us with a creeper today. Let's build a zombie. I guess that's kind of like a creeper. Eh, it's a monster. It's fine. We are so ready. Yeah. I think this is the first time we've decided on something before getting to the competition. Think we've got everything we need? It wouldn't hurt to grab a little more. Let's get to grabbing then. We're so prepared. We can't lose. Cannot. Bring it in. Oh. <laughs> Dare to prepare on three. No, no, no. Preparing is daring. No, that's, that's the same thing. Forget it. A team on three. One, two, three. Team. team. Prepare. You feel like you should get me.
know what we're building. We've got all the stuff for it. We are so ready. This year, it's going to be different. I'm not just ready to build. I'm ready to win. Nice pig, losers. Oh, great. There's Lucas and the Ocelots. The rivalry continues. Man, they've got matching leather jackets and everything. So cool. Well, well, well. If it isn't the order of the losers. <laughs> great. <laughs> the fail squad's here. Lucas, get a load of these losers. Let's go, guys. Name, please. Axel. And uh, how do you do? No, your team name. Team name? We are not ready for this. So much for losing anonymously. We're the Dead Enders. Whoa. Sounds like a name for pirates. What does it mean? Okay, Dead Enders. You guys are a. Ah! Ah! building a beacon. They're building a rainbow beacon. We're gonna lose. Our design is way cooler. A gigantic zombie is, is way cooler than a fancy light. Their difficulty score is going to be higher than our total score. We've got something they don't. Fireworks. We should probably stop staring at them. Ha ha ha. Look. It's the Order of the Losers, again. <laughs> Good one, Gil. We're just looking. There'll be plenty of time for you all to look at it after it wins and gets shown at Endercon. You're being unpleasant. Maybe not all of you. Endercon doesn't allow outside food or drink. I'm talking about your pig. Shut up. What's that? Jesse said, shut up. Do you need to hear it again? I don't know. Maybe. Stop wasting your time, Aiden. We've got work to do. You're lucky I'm busy. Hey, Josie. Guys. Hey, Petra. How's the bill going? Only time will tell, but we're optimistic. Hey, Petra. I forgot to thank you for that nether star. Hey, Lucas. Not a problem. You help these tools? For the right price, I'll help anyone. If you need anything, you know where to find me. None of us know where to find you. Exactly. No hard feelings, guys. If you're cool with Petra, you're cool with us. So why don't we just forget about all this and, you know, make this about how cool our builds are. May the best team win. Careful what you wish for. We'll see about that. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Endercon Building Competition! The winners of this year's competition will have their build featured at Endercon. The winners will also meet, in person, Gabriel the Warrior! Whoa, handshake? We don't have a handshake. We'll just make one up. We'll call it the, uh, the Redstone Wrap. No leaving the designated crafting areas for any reason. Hmm. And just like that, I'm nervous again. Don't talk like that. We can do this. Just stick to the plan and everything will be fine. This year, the Dead Enders can't lose. Let's do it. Building starts now. Oh no, a fireworks dispenser. I'm so scared. You worry about your build, we'll worry about ours. And now, the 
moment of truth. Here goes nothing. This looks so cool. We'll win this for sure. How could anyone not love the zombies? Good call, Jesse. Guys, people are looking at us. Good build, man. What? No way. It's just a bunch of dyed wool. Whoops. Oh no, Ruben's on fire! Ruben, no, come back! It was eight. That the lava's getting closer. Yeah, we the bill. Ruben's going to get lost. We've got to do something. But our build is about to go up in flames. We've got to get Ruben. Ah. Oof. I don't see him anywhere, Reuben. The sun's going down. We gotta find him fast. He could have gone anywhere, and this part of the woods is huge. We stand a better chance of finding him if we split up. If either of you get lost, just use the lights from Endercon to make your way back to town. Got it? Got it. Reuben? Where are you? Just give me an oink if you can hear me. Shut up. 
Be happy we're going to Baba. Ba. Good job. Ruben, it's getting scary out here. Ruben. Ruben. Oh no, you in there, buddy? Oh jeez, please don't be toasted, Ruben. to see you. Thank <laughs> you. 
Let's get out of the open. I want to show you something. Not that this isn't a really cool, dimly lit tunnel, but how far away is this thing you want to show me? Careful, Jesse. You don't want to get a reputation as a wimp. This isn't my first time in a cave, Petra. Yeah, but have you ever seen a wither skull? Whoa! Fresh from the nether. <laughs> You're the first person I've showed it to. So, you'd better appreciate this. I guess going to the scariest place in the world is just another day at work for you, huh? Hey, if I haven't faced down death at least twice before lunch, I'm not living up to my full potential. There's this guy I'm meeting up with at Endercon. He's gonna trade me a diamond for it. <laughs> Being the resident go-getter pays off every once in a while. Literally. <laughs> hey, as long as this guy is willing to pay, I earned that diamond. Wow. Wow what? In a single day, you went to the nether, you killed a wither skeleton. I mean, I did build a super cool statue, but still, it's pretty sweet being you, huh? You know, you could come with me. I mean, if you're too nervous, I totally get it. But I wouldn't mind a little backup. You want me to come with you? Consider it my charitable act for the day. I'll consider it whatever you want me to consider it, as long as I get to come. You just keep a crafting table down here. Comes in handy. Since that wooden sword of yours got busted. You're giving me a new one? Even better, you can make your own. One stick plus two stones equals one sword. Just grab what you need. Oh, okay, thanks. Hey, is all this stuff yours? No, we're just stealing from whoever was dumb enough to leave this here. Of course it's mine. Just making sure. Oh, here we go. Jack... Uh just place the pieces on the table. Come on, Jesse. We don't have all night. Yeah? It's like this is your first time crafting or something. Put the stick at the bottom, and then the two stones above it. Oh, and what did you think that was going to make? Eh, nothing. I just wanted to make sure you were paying attention. Whatever you say. See? 
Isn't it better when you make it yourself? Check it out. Endercon's all lit up. Oh man, looks like Lucas and his ocelots won again. Sorry, Jesse. But you've got to admit, that beacon does look pretty sweet. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted this to be the year we finally beat that jerk. You know, Lucas may be kind of arrogant, but he has come through for me in tricky situations. You might want to get to know him, just in case. He's good at building, that's for sure. It's always useful to have a guy like that around, no matter what you might think of him personally. Even if I wanted to get to know him, there's no way Olivia and Axel would go along with it. Olivia and Axel aren't the boss of you. Just think about it, okay? Come on, let's hurry. Remember what Endercon was like before it was cool? Remember what we were like before <laughs> we were cool? Some of us will never be cool. Ha ha. I will train and put a leg in the Creepers! Crap! Ali, I have to put the leg in the leg. This doesn't look good. Well, there's only one way off this bridge. Whatever we do, we do it together. All right, let's jump. somewhere. I hope you're right. So, when we're making the deal, I need you to let me do the talking. I can deal with that, though. I just don't want anything to screw this up. Or anyone. Sure, I'll let you handle it. And if you want to be really useful, try to look intimidating. Like this? I'm less scared of you than scared for you. Jesse. And Petra? Hey, you all know Petra, my new super close friend. We're super close now. Anyway, I was while I was looking for Reuben. Couldn't find him either, huh? I'm sorry, Jesse. We looked everywhere. I saw him, but before I knew what was happening, we were under attack by a zombie horde. I told him to run. It was for his own good. What were you doing in the woods, Petra? Nothing. Just drawn by the sound of Jesse's high-pitched screams. I would have been Spider-Man if she had Gotta admit, I'm pretty bummed they won again. I mean, there's no way we were gonna let you go after Ruben by yourself, but it's okay to be a little disappointed, right? More like a lot disappointed. They deserve this. Olivia, even you've got to admit that. Yeah, yeah. And I agree, but then also still hate them and everything they stand for. Hey, Jesse, it's time to go see about that thing. Oh, right, the thing. Subtle. Yeah? As a punch to the face. Axel and I were going to head into Endercon anyway. See you in there? I heard somebody saying there's free cake by the map booth. Hurry. We're supposed to meet in the alley over there. Dark. Dark. Very dark in here. That's weird. He 
said the dark, creepy alley close to the gates, but he's not here. Maybe he's late. Are you sure this is the dark, creepy alley he meant? Okay, new plan. Here's 